nice quiet evening last night. Um, didn't really hear the road noise all that much. You can probably hear it now. Now I just uh, don't want to be that guy leaving out at early morning before everybody's even up. I think it's uh, 6.30 local. Thankfully, we have a gas coach, so I shouldn't make too much racket getting out of here. Our diesel truck in years past would have been an embarrassment to uh, start up to get out this early, but shouldn't be so bad today. I'm going to try to get to Albuquerque uh, by this evening or by dinner, which would leave a short drive to uh, Petrified Forest on Monday morning. I was fighting the wind uh, yesterday and I'm expecting to have to deal with some more of that. And then we're going to have some elevation to deal with, so climbing up to, I think the campground's at 5,000 feet. One thing I forgot to do before we left home was uh, get propane, so I've got to do that today. I checked our levels this morning and we were down to 17% on propane, so there's a uh, Flying J in Oklahoma City I'm going to try and get into, fill up on propane and gas up. Things worked out pretty well yesterday. I think we did um, over 300 miles Friday morning, over almost 600 yesterday, and today we're going to try to do just over 600 to get to Albuquerque. And uh, should only leave about 220 to Petrified Forest. A little concerned because there's still a high wind warning out there in Arizona for today and tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. Wow, so that was just east of Oklahoma City to, um, I don't know what rest stop this is. So if you're on I-40 West coming out of Oklahoma into Texas, there is no welcome center as you cross the border. This one about, I don't know, 70 miles in is the uh, first one. And man, that was a handful coming through here. We looked on the weather app, and apparently I just drove through 20 plus mile an hour crosswind with 35 mile an hour gusts. I don't know if that's normal out here, Oklahoma and Texas, but if you drive in this every day, uh, kudos to you. Don't see this stuff in South Carolina unless the storm's coming through, so. A little bit more of this and uh, maybe we'll be in New Mexico. Nice rest area. So we just left from east of Oklahoma City this morning. Drove through Oklahoma City, got propane in Oklahoma City at the Flying J. So they had two pumps out in the RV line and the propane tank up front next to the RV line didn't work. So I had to go all the way around back, fill up there, and no big deal. But What's really crazy was the amount of wind today. New experience for me. I'm glad though, I'm glad that we made the push to get here to Albuquerque because it's gonna make our day tomorrow a lot shorter. Just a, I don't know, maybe three hours to get to Petrified Forest. I thought about stopping short of Albuquerque because the wind was so crazy and it was just really, really draining me. But um, I think once we got past Santa Rosa, it really died down. And then just seeing the mountains, it just really, it was great. Helped me not to think about how much further we had to go. And so I managed to get here, did a late check-in. What is this place called? American RV Resort. American, American RV Resort, maybe. I'm pretty sure. So a nice 
patio and um, full hookups 50 amp really easy uh, late check-in once I figured the system out hot tub is closed at 8.30. Hot tub and pool closes at 8.30, so that was a little bit early than what I'm used to, uh, but we managed to get about 30 minutes into pool time and relax the hot tub, which for 40, about 40 a night with good Sam, to me that was worth it. Tomorrow morning, a little bit later, um, I think maybe we'll leave at 8.30 instead of like 6. Actually, I need to make a business call in the morning and then uh, back to the fun, so... That was a really intense day. I'm hoping the next time I have to drive 40 isn't like that.